Everton replay at Vale Park was the best team performance that I've been involved with. Because not only did we win 2-1, I felt that that particular night we could have won by four or five goals. The wingers, John McCarthy and Steve Guppy, ran them ragged to be honest. They were really good that night and I believe Steve Guppy had to run to the ground because he was stuck in traffic <laughs> to make it with a kick-off. So he ran two miles before the match even started. Andy Hill back in the centre, good run on by Ian Bogey. Still Ian Bogey, fires a shot, that's in the net! Ian Bogey, 17 minutes gone! And not two minutes ago, Simon, I was saying he had to make a more of an impact into this game. And Ian Bogey, we love you here at Port Vale. Port Vale 1, Everton 0. And what an absolute gem. He did it at Goodison Park three weeks ago. Look at this, Simon, coming up on the video. Bang! Straight past Southall and straight into the back of that net. You could see that was going to be a goal as soon as he hit it. As soon as he hit it. You won't, you won't see many better goals than that anywhere in the league this, this month. Not many better than that this season, I wouldn't imagine. Graham Stewart, chance to one each. And he has. Did it take a deflection? But one thing we do know, after 31 minutes, Everton have pulled level through Graham Stewart. He's had two chances so far this evening, and he made no mistake with that one. Did it take a touch off Aspin? Neil Aspin lunges in, and it did. It came off Aspin's right leg, just went over the outstretched Paul Musselwhite, and the score at Vale Park. Port Vale, one, Everton, one. He's got Guppy in support, Taylor coming out towards him. Naylor's one to fix it up, he's into the area, he's got it further into the area, he's got a chance to shoot, and Boyle must, oh! oh! It's just not going to happen. I just don't know what they've got to do to score a goal tonight. Or score a second goal, rather. Naylor's had a go Naylor's at three. Just... Ian Bogie's just missed one. Look at this, Naylor. Super. He's causing them all trouble. Ball goes up in the air. He spots Martin Foyle. Deftest of touches there. Foyle, bang! Wow. Straight over the bar. It's just... Oh! That ball has got to go in the back of the net sometime soon, mate. Well, hopefully it'll be in uh, Neville Southall's net. But um, it must be said... The by cars there, at, at all the efforts have gone in by Port Vale, showing very generous support, very appreciative of this game tonight. But look at and that. We're on the attack again. Got two men through into the area. Scott just scored. Yes, 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 he has. The goal is going to go. And you've got to say that was deserved. What did we say? It's got to go in the back of the net soon. And there we have it, South Dolls can't complain about that one, it's a beautiful move. Mick, how did you see that one? Well, I actually caught my microphone as it went up in the air, but look at this, Guppy, bang, straight over. In comes his opposite wingman, bump, in off the post, round the back of the net and out over the line again. One of the best nights uh, I've had this at this club. Um, a complete performance that night, I think, from the whole team, and we deserve to win. 4-5-1, I think Neville Southall was their man of the match that night. That was a great night as well for us, so you know, it's one of our special occasions in the FA Cup. And uh, we thoroughly outplayed Everton, and um, the standard of football that night was particularly high, and it was a pleasure to be involved with the team.